and to create a random filled background using brushes in Illustrator. Now, first thing to do is actually create some presets to actually use. Of course, you might have some brushes as well, so you could use those, but I'm just going to quickly create a brush. Just a very simple brush, circular design, just going to have a fill, just a circle, another couple of circles, different colours, and then I'm just going to add it to the brushes panel. Now, once you're happy with the design, and obviously you could use stars, squares, or any other kind of design as well. Right, once you're happy with that, just select the whole design and drag it into the brushes panel. And I'm going to go with scatter design. Now that's the key thing, scatter, scatter brush. Just select that, click OK. Now you've got all these various settings, you can actually set it to random. That's the key thing here, random, for the size, for spacing and scatter. Obviously it's circle, so you don't particularly need any rotation. It won't make no difference whatsoever. You can set the minimums, maximums, depending how you want. I'm going to set them fairly low, 20%, etc. So you're going to have some variety in the actual design. So the actual size. Now, once you're happy with that, that's, I'm not going to change the obviously that. And you can also tint it as well, do all the various things. I'm just going to go with none. I'm going to recolor later on. So OK, and then you've got the actual design there. You can see the design now on the panel. What I'm going to use next is the curvature tool. Just go there in the toolbar. And could fill the whole screen, you might just fill a little area, but I'm just going to fill it. Now, I don't want to actually uh, colour there, I actually want to get rid of that. And I'm just going to cancel that at this point, just go to the properties instead. Other option, of course. Just go to properties, get rid of that. And then go around, just add 5, 10, 15, 20, 100, whatever, as many points you want to go around the whole design, the artboard, and you can continue on. Once you're happy with it, just click the tool at the top and I'm just going to continue on for a bit longer. I didn't realise how many times I actually went across, but you can make various abstract signs. Yeah, just click that. And once you're actually happy with that, just go to the brushes and click the preset. And you can see now it's filled with all these designs. And it's all random filled, small, big, small, and all that sort of stuff. Go to the object menu and expand appearance. Once you've actually done that, go to the edit and edit colors and use recolor artwork. We'll use that with preset option, up to you. Click OK. I'll select the library first, ancient, I'm going to go for, doesn't particularly matter, it could go with any of the other ones. And then you can obviously just change, go down there and select a harmonious design there, right, click OK, and then once you've actually done that, what I want to do is go with the curvature tool again, so I'm just going to quickly go to the object menu and lock, and lock all the selections, so all those are selected have been locked now, so I can't change them by accident with the curvature tool, and again I'm just going to go over the curvature tool again, maybe not as many times as previously, uh, but fill the screen with a fair amount of curvy things, you could of course use a pen tool and other tools just to create, or maybe shapes as well, up to you. Right, once you've actually done that you can see the preset has been filled again and then expand appearance, at object menu, again go to the edit colours, recolor arts and maybe use that one, reds, greens, just go through a whole range of things. settings, randomize settings, click OK, once you're happy with it, or maybe not, just randomize it again, just go through that, run through all the various colours, Click OK and then lock that selection. That's really it. But you can obviously continue repeat the process over and over again. Maybe fill it with stars, maybe fill it with other shapes, whatever. And then you've got a random filled colourful background. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.